Welcome to Polk Today. I'm your host, Brian Lacey. Polk Today is a daily show airing Monday through Friday here on PGTV with useful county information, weather and highlights from PGTV programs, along with previewing upcoming meetings. We will show you ribbon cuttings, groundbreakings, and other community events and services, all designed to get your day started off. Now, Polk County Tourism and Sports Marketing and the Transportation Planning Organization are just a few of the contributing partners to Polk Today. Today is Thursday, August 14th, and we start off today's show with a recap from the Board of County Commissioners Budget Work Session for Outside Agency Funding from Tuesday. Outside agencies are nonprofit organizations throughout the county that provide services and programs to the residents in need. Nearly $1.3 million was requested, while only $450,000 was budgeted for those who asked for the funds. In the end, the board granted $416,000 to be funded with $34,000 going back into reserves. For a complete look on how each agency was funded, go to the county website at polk-county.net. The nonprofit organization Keep Polk County Beautiful's mission statement is in their title. Created in 1994, Keep Polk County Beautiful has recruited tens of thousands of volunteers and collected hundreds of thousands of pounds of litter and illegally dumped items. A recent move to a new office space in Eagle Lake inspired a ribbon cutting ceremony and open house to invite the community to join them in their efforts to keep Polk County beautiful. We were able to get a wonderful log cabin donated by the city of Eagle Lake, so we were moving in and wanted to invite the public, our city, and our county commissioners, as well as all of our friends and family to join us in welcoming Keep Polk County Beautiful to Eagle Lake. You want to see people have a better life, and we, I want to be proud of all of Polk County, and I want to be proud of each and every one of our communities, and not take one community and say, well, you know, it, it's, it's kind of uh, on this side of the tracks or that side of the tracks. They're all important and we want them all to look good and I want everybody to be, in, in, to be proud and have, and have a, a good feeling about where they live. We're very happy to be a part of the new Eagle Lake family. Um, we've always partnered with Eagle Lake and done cleanups and beautification projects. We have some really big things in the mix coming soon. We uh, have entered into a partnership with uh, Keep Polk County Beautiful to be able to provide them a, a place kind of centrally in the county to be able to reach out to, to everyone within the county. Keep Polk County Beautiful is a nonprofit organization. We do litter prevention, community cleanups, neighborhood projects, tire recycling, any kind of recycling, cleanup, litter education. We go throughout the schools, we go out to the public, and we also do cleanup efforts as well. We have a beautiful, beautiful county, but it is an everyday job. We're out there cleaning it up, but while we're cleaning it, we also want to keep it clean and educate people on how to keep it clean, educate them on how to change those habits, changing those habits, cleaning up, beautifying the area, and taking pride in their community. We have, we have really made some tremendous strides in a lot of neighborhoods in Polk County that really needed to be cleaned up, and that's better for everybody. Since 1972, the Humane Society of Polk County has been dedicated to the prevention of cruelty to animals, the relief of suffering among animals, and the extension of humane and education. The shelter usually has 25 cats and 25 dogs in residence. All accepted animals are spayed or neutered, 
provided with shots tested for heartworm or feline leukemia and AIDS, dewormed, microchip, and given comfortable shelter, food, and water. During last physical year, over 900 animals were taken in. Eagle and Josie are just a few of the cats and dogs available for adoption at the Humane Society of Polk County. Eagle is a three-year-old Beagle Jack mix. He is a very good dog who loves kids, and he is completely housebroken too. He'll shake hands for a treat, and Eagle is a very active boy who loves to run and play on our agility equipment. He will make a great agility dog or an exercise companion. He will do best with an active family who likes to go for walks or jogs. Eagle's adoption fee is $100. The adoption fee includes the first set of shots. Josie is a three-year-old domestic short-haired cat. He is super sweet and handsome too. Josie came to us from a hoarding case. He was one of 100 animals in a single home. He gets along well with other cats and people of all ages. Josie is allergic to plastic food bowls, so if you adopt him, you will need to use ceramic or metal bowls. He is available for adoption at the pet supermarket in Winter Haven on Cypress Gardens Boulevard. He's there now with his friend Pharaoh. Josie's adoption fee is $50, and the adoption fee includes his first set of shots. Staying on top of the day's events here on Polk today includes a look at the weather. For the latest forecasting conditions and a look at what's brewing in the tropics, we take you to the Emergency Operations Center with EOC Coordinator Billy Abernathy. Good morning, this is Bill Abernathy, Polk County Emergency Management from the Emergency Operations Center. This is your weather conditions for Thursday, August 14th, 2014. For today, we have a high of 93 with a low of 74. Currently, our temperature is at 76 degrees with a humidity at 97%. Today, we have a 60% chance of showers, mainly after 2 p.m. Winds will be generally from the southwest at five to nine miles per hour. Rainfall amounts today will be between a quarter and a half an inch. Expect higher possible amounts in the thunderstorms themselves. On Friday, we have a high of 92, a low of 76, with a 60% chance of thunderstorms, mainly after 2 p.m. Rainfall amounts should be between a quarter and a half an inch, with winds generally from the southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And on Saturday, we have a high of 92 with a low of 74, 60% chance of thunderstorms likely after 2 p.m. also. Winds on Saturday should be generally from the south at 5 to 8 miles per hour. On the tropics, tropics are very quiet right now. Um, we're just monitoring one wave that's in the middle Atlantic, and no tropical cyclone formation is expected during the next five days. This is Bill Abernathy, Polk County Emergency Management from the Emergency Operations Center. Thanks, Billy, for the look at the weather. You know, PGTV is Polk County's government access cable TV channel. Our programming allows residents easier access to county government meetings and local programming. One such program is Encounter Central Florida's Polk. Polk County is surrounded by incredible natural environment, world-famous sites, and great family destinations. One such place is Streamsong, Polk County's premier golf and spa resort. So two, three years ago, we went out to figure out who are those extraordinary golf architects. And it wasn't too hard to find. Uh, Tom Doak, Bill Corr, Ben Crenshaw, renowned uh, golf course architects, really at the top of their game uh, in the industry. And we approached them to come to this area and see if they would fall in love with this same uh, landscape that we thought would be ideal for uh, two 36, or rather two 18-hole golf courses. And sure enough, when they came onto the site, they were just taken away by the natural beauty. Uh, the homes, there are no home sites, there's no structures or anything that you would resemble uh, as far as a traditional Florida uh, landscape for golf. And for that reason, they jumped at the chance. They saw in 
the simplicity of this raw, wild uh, landscape, something that they could craft and really move uh, two golf courses into a national scene. And that's truly what has happened in the course of a year and a half of opening uh, Streamsong Red and Streamsong Blue. Uh, we have taken a concept, an idea, the purity of golf, uh, taking it back as uh, deep in our tradition and authentic golf as we could. Hey, that's going to do it for today's show. As a reminder to keep current with programs and progress in the county, all you have to do is visit the county website at polk-county.net or follow us on Facebook and Twitter, or you can check out the Polk County YouTube channel. I invite you to join us tomorrow when, we'll, when we will feature golf tips courtesy of Polk County Tourism and Sports Marketing and get an update on the Highway 98 expansion between Lakeland and Bartow. Uh, for Polk Today, I'm your host, Brian Lacey, and uh, we hope to see you tomorrow.